high fidelity is about a massive man child, this guy, Rob. I would agree with that. I think that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, Rob Gordon owns this shop, and his current uh, relationship with this girl called Laura is on the rocks because of his past. The show is an eclectic story about love and forgiveness, and it's a little tale about a group of people who are obsessed with music and struggle to make connections with each other and make lots of mistakes and learning about what it is to become an adult and to be truthful. And I realised that if we brought it back to London, then we had a reason to do it and to talk about relationships and muddled masculinity and talking about things that are completely prevalent still now. So my, my job is to sort of take out the American references and add and add things that would be British. So I've added custard creams. Yeah. Our protagonist spends an entire scene needlessly with a button burn. Needlessly but joyously. Yeah. He just he just spends this whole scene cradling a button burn. Cradling a button burn. That's in this show. So that's a real selling point. That is I a selling think. point. Together we've taken their show that they've crafted beautifully yeah. and we've yeah. made it so it fits in London in this funny little tunnel. Uh, being part of the first musical at the Turbine Theatre is really exciting because I think we feel part of the buzz of the starting out of it, the birth of it, I guess. The birth. The Turbine is an amazing space. It is just perfect for high fidelity. You can see everything that sucks people in because of the space. It's a lot of fun because I think it gives like a living room element, you know, like that we're kind of in, the audience are in the comfort of our own home and we're in the comfort of their own home, like, and it's yeah. kind of, it just relaxes the environment a little bit and then we set it up even more because um, Tom, uh, our director, has like got us jumping up and down the aisles and just really including the audience and, and with the turbines, like, you know, layout as well. I run into the audience quite a lot and that's quite fun yeah. because there's nothing like singing into some terrified person's face <laughs> And then you're like, I'm going with this. And then you're like, you're coming with me. <laughs> and they're like, okay. Yeah, that's it. I enjoy terrorising them yeah. with my, with yeah, my so come very and see the show weird, and get terrorised. Very weird song. Terrorised by people um, shouting in your faces. In a nice way. Yeah. What has been your favourite thing about working at the Turbine Theatre? The intimacy. Oh, I it's think, intimate, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice for the audience to experience genuinely a West End standard show mm. this close. The cast are extraordinary and everyone gets on, yep. uh, is nice and has a really good time. Everyone is such a positive vibe. We're all on such a good note and... It's interesting though because it should be stressful. You know, you're on this mm -hmm. stage, this is, the band are up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. the audience are there, they're on bean bags, <laughs> they're on sofas. And it's not stressful, it's just been the yeah. most delightful experience. High Fidelity is very different to many musicals because it's a very like realistic representation of a, like, a relationship. The first phone call we had, yeah. we were like, how can we uh, portray these women in a way that gives them power and gives them autonomy yeah. and strength? And they all do. They're all written. They, it's all in there. It's, it's all in there. It's just the way that you present them on stage. It was like it's our story. It's obviously based on the original Nick Hornby uh, book. And it's a domestic story. It's about a guy who has messy relationships. He's, he's a bit stupid. You want to punch him in the face. But we've all been there. It's Maybe the I'm giving too much no, information. And I think that's why it resonates, because there's nothing really like that out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're human, you'll relate, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's a really human show. And it is like... so full of joy. Like, it yeah. is yeah. like, there's so much joy in it that you'll like catch something that someone's doing and you're like, oh my God, that's fantastic. Yeah. Like, ultimately, it's like a warm hug. <laughs> I just think it's joyous. Like, yeah. it's totally joyous. 